Hi, I'm Tori, and I think that coffee makes me poop. I'm also a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in pelvic dysfunction, which means I treat things that can go wrong around the pelvis, and this includes bowel dysfunction. And I used to get a lot of questions about bowel health and coffee in the clinic. So today I am very excited to be making a requested video trying to answer the question, why does coffee make me poop? The the short answer is we don't know. And the long answer is we've done some research and we have some very interesting theories, but we don't actually know. In today's video, I want to walk you through some of that research and speak more about those theories so that you can better understand why we think coffee might make you poop. Timestamps and links to any studies or resources mentioned today can be found in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into it. In order for some of the studies and theories to make sense, you need a general understanding of something called peristalsis or the movement of your intestines and how peristalsis relates to pooping. When you eat food or drink a beverage, it enters your mouth, travels down your esophagus and into your stomach where it is turned into a more digestible, almost fluid-like substance. That substance then travels from your stomach into your intestines where the majority of it is digested before the leftover waste makes its way into your rectum where it is stored until it is time for you to poop. Because we are focused on pooping, we are the most interested in the very end of the intestinal tract, where the intestines and the rectum connect. This area is sometimes called the distal colon or the rectosigmoid colon in the literature, but it all simply means the end of the intestinal tract close to the rectum. Peristalsis, that intestinal movement that we were talking about earlier, sometimes called intestinal motility, is the scientific name for the contracting and relaxing of your intestines. This movement, these rhythmic intestinal contractions, are what propel food and eventually stool from the intestines into the rectum. And the movement looks an awful lot like when a snake eats a mouse. With that image in your mind's eye, let's talk about the research. So, in the scientific world of coffee and pooping, there are two classic studies. One, performed in 1990, demonstrated that in some people, coffee does in fact stimulate those rhythmic contractions of the intestines. Coffee does in fact stimulate peristalsis at the end of the intestinal tract close to the rectum, which means there is physical evidence to support the notion that coffee might in fact make some people poop. The other classic study performed in 1998 demonstrated that while caffeine definitely does stimulate peristalsis, caffeine alone is not why coffee makes some people poop. Let's talk more about these studies. The 1990 study entitled Effect of Coffee on Distal Colon Function began with a questionnaire. 99 healthy young volunteers between the ages of 17 and 27 answered questions about their bowels, coffee, and other beverages. Of the 99 volunteers, we know that 58 of them were men and 34 were women. The remainder decided not to disclose their sex. Of them, 29 claimed that coffee made them poop. But get this, of those 29, known as the coffee responders in the study, 18 were women. Said another way, of the 34 women who participated in the questionnaire, 53% were coffee responders, where only 11 of the original 58 men, or 19% of the men, were coffee responders. As an aside, this is a really interesting finding and seems to be consistent within the world of researching intestinal health. When it comes to studying bowel sensitivity and bowel responsiveness, women tend to be significantly more sensitive and significantly more responsive than men. A more palpable example of this might be the prevalence of irritable bowel syndrome. Women are two and a half times more likely than men to have this diagnosis. Back to the study. Of the 99 volunteers who answered the questionnaire, the researchers asked 14 to come in for further testing. Eight who claimed that 
that coffee made them poop, known as the coffee responders, and six who claimed that coffee had no effect on their bowel movements whatsoever, or the coffee non-responders. The researchers measured the amount of rectosigmoid motor activity, or the amount of those rhythmic contractions, that peristalsis towards the end of the intestinal tract, close to the rectum, to regular black coffee, black decaffeinated coffee, and hot water. All eight of the coffee responders demonstrated a significant increase in rectosigmoid motor activity. Within four minutes of ingesting both the regular black coffee and the decaffeinated black coffee. And that increase in motility lasted for an average of about 30 minutes. And get this, all six of the self-proclaimed non-coffee responders demonstrated no significant increase in rectosigmoid motor activity after ingesting both the regular black coffee and the decaf. It's also worth mentioning that none of the 14 subjects had a significant increase in rectosigmoid motor activity after drinking hot water. So what can we conclude from this 1990 study? First of all, we know that that observed increase in intestinal motility did not have to do with the volume or temperature of the fluid ingested because the hot water was the same volume and the same temperature as the black coffee and the decaffeinated coffee. Second, while we do have to keep in mind that this was a relatively small sample size, it seems like whether you think coffee makes you poop or not, you're probably right and there's an increased chance that it'll make you poop if you're a biological female. Finally, since all eight coffee responders responded to both caffeinated black coffee and decaffeinated black coffee, we know that that increase in intestinal motility can't be due to caffeine alone. But does caffeine contribute to intestinal stimulation? And if it does, how powerful of a stimulator is it? That 1998 study that we mentioned earlier, entitled Is Coffee a Colonic Stimulant, aimed to answer these very questions. This study measured intestinal motor activity in 12 healthy subjects after they ingested a meal, regular black coffee, black decaffeinated coffee, and hot water. The researchers found that while the meal did trigger the most intestinal movement, that black caffeinated coffee was a very close second. And the the magnitude of the motor activity caused by the caffeinated coffee, the intensity of those colonic contractions, was 23% stronger than decaf and 60% stronger than hot water. Why would hot water cause intestinal motor activity in this study but not in the 1990 study? Because this study measured intestinal movement along a wider range of the intestines, not just the end of the intestinal tract close to the rectum. So, it's 1998 and we know that ingesting coffee can result in measurable, significant increases in motor activity in the intestines that could definitely make some people poop. And we know that while caffeine is a powerful colonic stimulant, it is not the only reason that coffee makes some people poop. I wish that I could say that we've discovered more in the last 20 years or so, but we really haven't. We've tried to figure out if coffee specifically affects stomach emptying time, because once the stomach empties into the intestines, food and waste can more quickly move through the intestines and into the rectum, which would stimulate a bowel movement. But we've got some studies that show that coffee does increase stomach emptying time, and some studies that show that it has no effect. We've also hypothesized that there must be some compound in coffee that triggers certain hormone production in the human body, and those hormones are what make us poop, but we can't figure out which of the hundreds of compounds in coffee would be responsible for that hormone production. Which brings us to some of the more interesting theories about why coffee makes some of us poop. One proposal is that it's the magnesium in coffee that causes its 
its laxative effect. I say maybe, but usually when someone is using magnesium as a laxative, they're taking at least 150 milligrams at a time, if not more. And there's only seven milligrams of magnesium in one cup of coffee, so I'm not really convinced. Maybe magnesium plays a supporting role in tandem with other components of coffee, but I don't think it's the smoking gun of coffee and pooping. Another proposal is that it's not the coffee in isolation that makes us poop, but it's what we add to our coffee that makes us poop, namely cream, milks, sugar, and artificial sweeteners. But we can prove that black coffee, caffeinated and decaffeinated black coffee, can increase intestinal movement and make some people poop. So I say that while what we add to our coffee may increase its laxative effect, this theory is flawed. Also, I think coffee makes me poop and I drink my coffee black, so this theory is much harder for me to get behind. A third theory is that it's not the coffee in isolation that makes someone poop. Poop, it's the coffee in combination with that person's morning routine. We know that the intestines are much more active in the morning than they are at any other time during the day. We also know that meals increase intestinal activity significantly and that exercise increases intestinal activity significantly. So if you pair already extra active morning intestines with a meal, like breakfast, and exercise, because some people do exercise in the morning, and coffee, I can start to understand why this theory makes sense. The participants in that 1990 study did fast before the tests, however, the testing began around 11 a.m. I'd like to see what would happen if an experiment started its testing at night and controlled not only for meals, but also for exercise in order to properly address this morning routine theory. I want to say that I respond to coffee no matter what time of day that I drink it, but I don't think that's true. I feel like it always makes me poop in the morning, but it doesn't always make me poop if I drink it in the afternoon, and I don't really drink it at night. If anyone watching is an evening coffee drinker and is comfortable sharing, does it make you poop at night? I am so curious. A final theory is that us coffee responders have Pavloved ourselves. Recall that Pavlov is famous within the scientific community for discovering what is known as classical or Pavlovian conditioning. You might remember learning about Pavlov's dogs. Essentially, Pavlov proved that he could condition dogs to salivate simply by ringing a bell. If he paired that ringing bell with food often enough, eventually the dogs learn to associate that ringing bell with food. And with would salivate when the bell rang in anticipation of the food. The proposal here is that we would poop in the morning anyway, but we drink coffee in the morning and we've learned to associate that coffee with pooping. So we have a physical response, intestinal movement, to smelling coffee or having a single sip because we are anticipating that bowel movement. Just like the dogs had a physical response, salvation, to that ringing bell because they anticipated the subsequent delivery of food. I'm open to having Pavloved myself, but I am not entirely convinced. And it's also super hard to prove scientifically that that's what's going on. So there you have it. Something in coffee, other than caffeine, definitely makes some of us poop, maybe 30% of the population or so. It seems to affect women more so than men, and whether you think coffee makes you poop or not, you're probably right. I think <laughs> that this whole coffee pooping phenomenon is a really cool and palpable example of one, just how strong our own bodily intuitions can be, two, just how different each and every human body actually is, and three, how much and how little we actually know about the human body and its connection to our world. On that note, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down and let me know what I can do to improve in the future. Feel free to comment absolutely anything down below your relationship with coffee and pooping, what you think about those theories, questions, content suggestions, feedback, literally anything. I do try really hard to read and respond to all of my comments. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and 
finally, if you want to, please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content, not only about pelvic things like today's video, but also about life things. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.